Hi there. Today is uh, Tuesday, March 5th, 2013, and this is uh, Dr. Bob Flower with the Achievement Forum. Okay, so we've been talking about our discovery of the natural intelligences, and I told you that they break down into three organized groups, planning, organizing, and functioning, and that those three then break down into 13 intelligences, okay? And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. We're going to talk about the first group of intelligences, which we call the planning intelligences. You can call them the creative intelligences, okay? And these are, and there are three. Uh, and uh, these three uh, are uh, responsible for um, identifying everything that we do, right? especially in the creating or planning stage. Right? In fact, uh, we call this the ABCs uh, because what happens with these three intelligences is that A plus B always equals C. And I'm going to explain that to you. And this is, this is a fact. This you can take this to the bank and count on it, all right? A is your intelligence of awareness or focus, your ability to zero in on something and lock it in, or your awareness, the degree of how deep or how broad your awareness is, all right? B is your beliefs or your concepts, all right? Your, your ideas. And C is communication, the way you communicate things, the way you express yourself, or don't express yourself, or don't communicate, right? Now these three are three individual intelligences. Some of us have a great deal of awareness, some of us have very little awareness, some of us have uh, uh, many ideas, some of us have few ideas, or, or weak beliefs, or weak concepts, right, or strong. And of course the communication and the expression is a result of these two, right? So the theorem that we have is that A plus B equals C. Now, very, very simple, very simple. The way to locate a problem or a conflict can be found within this little equation here. If you're having a problem or if there's a conflict, all you have to look at are these three. And chances are it's going to be in, um, in w one of the first two. What you're focusing on and what you believe about what you're focusing on will always equate to how you express it or how you communicate it. This is a fact. 33 years of research, of experimentation, documentation, absolute 100% scientific fact. It's as simple as this to, re re to locate a problem or a conflict. Now, for those of you who may have this, this innate habit of looking outside for problems or for issues or for resolution, uh, understand this. With, with this with this science, with, with these natural intelligences, you have the power to find and correct things within yourself. It's not necessary to uh, go outside to look for the blame or look for where the resolution is. The resolution always comes from your own intelligence. You, you have enough of that. And you don't need to... I mean, putting the blame someplace else is the simplest thing in the world. It's, you know, refusing responsibility, okay? Instead of, and that doesn't get, you don't grow by that, right? Maybe your ego does, but you as a true human being, as a true knowledgeable, uh, understanding being who needs to realize their potential does not. And keep in mind as well as one of the premises of, of the achievement uh, sciences, achievement form, is that the most important thing in the world 
the thing that human beings are here for is to develop their potential in the highest possible uh, manner or fashion, okay? And I don't mean that necessarily only by physical or material means. There, there, are, there are four ways in which you, you uh, can achieve potential, physically or materially, you know, make more money, look better, okay? Mentally, expand your mind. Emotionally, be more in control and be, you know, sound, moderate voice in, in circumstances and situations, yet at the same time be passionate about what you're doing, okay? And number four, intuitive, all right? Or, as I like to call it, spiritual. And spirit, by spiritual, this is not religious, there is no theology involved in this. Spirit is a power that you have within you to bring out uh, all of these forces and let them be in control to, to guide you and take you through through life, through through experiences. Okay, and I don't care whether that's a big money deal, and I use this. I use this every day, and. Um, uh, those of you who, who know me and know my background, you know, I, I think I've done pretty well. And, and, and it's something that you can call up within you. You, know, you, you practice, you, you focus on, on these various intelligences, which we're going to be going through, and uh, the, uh, the great restrictors, which we talked about in our first session. These are things that are going to help you to be um, a more accomplished person a more satisfied person, to be more uh, in your skin, more confident, more capable, uh, more self-assured, okay? So, A plus B always equals C. What you focus on, what you believe about it, will always equate to how you communicate it or how you, how you express it. Or how you don't express it. These are there's positives and negatives. Okay, so that's our lesson for today. Next week, I think we're going to talk about positives and negatives, which is uh, uh, something very much akin to uh, the achievement process and uh, how important uh, positive and negative is and how we view them uh, in our lives. Okay, so you guys have a great week and uh, let us know uh, if, if you have any questions or any issues uh, uh, of, of any sort to go to our website www.drdrbobflower.com okay thanks have a great week